I am angry. I'm angry. We could have died. Marlene and Fred Cantro feel betrayed. I paid for two weeks of pleasure, not four weeks of misery. Misery. The New York couple says it's time for a reckoning with the cruise ship industry. The first two weeks of our cruise was great. It really was the perfect vacation. And then it's almost as if it was all taken away. It's like when people say what happened and you go, March didn't exist. The Cantros are suing celebrity cruises owned by Royal Caribbean as part of a proposed class action lawsuit. Just two of the hundreds of passengers to get infected with the coronavirus during the pandemic. I just want them to never allow something like this to happen again. As the captain kept saying to us, his job is to keep us happy and, and healthy. healthy. Well, guess what? They didn't. Also still recovering from a cruise turned nightmare, John and Melanie Harry. I do feel like the COVID has followed us from the start uh, all the way till now. The retired couple was on the Diamond Princess, the very first cruise ship known to be infected with COVID-19 back in early February. I feel like that part of my life was stolen, but I'm alive and I'm well. My desire to keep traveling is still there and I feel safe. For now, those ocean liners remain docked after becoming an early warning sign, a microcosm of what would happen around the world. Tonight, the $45 billion cruise industry's plan to reinvent itself and get back out on the water. I think it'd be a travesty if we didn't cruise again. As soon as we get back out, we're going to be out cruising. We're going to be out enjoying life. Are you ready to get back on a cruise ship? No. No. I don't trust them. They lied to me. They out and out lied to me. For the big three cruise lines, Carnival, Royal Caribbean, and Norwegian, the date to relaunch their fleets remains uncertain. ABC's parent company, Disney, is also a part of the cruise industry. Its ships remain idle as well. The cruise industry has not seen anything like this before, not from a financial perspective and not from any other kind of perspective. How often do you go on cruises? Once a year for the last, how long? 20, 20, 20 25 years. Yeah. So you love cruises. Love, love cruises. Love cruising. Without question. When Fred and Marlene left New York back in late February, there weren't too many confirmed cases of COVID-19 in America. Although the cruise line had prohibited people who'd recently been in heavily infected countries like China. We called Celebrity and they said the cruise is going. And by the way, you're not getting any money back if you don't go. And it wasn't cheap. If there had been a, a warning from the U.S. Don't go. We wouldn't have gone. They flew to South America to set sail on a two-week adventure on the celebrity cruise ship Eclipse. I wanted to see the penguins. I wanted to get as close to Antarctica as we could before it started melting. Spoken was, like a true science teacher. Yes. Uh, that's what she said. It exactly. was my dream. The trip seemed to go without a hitch, even as COVID-19 cases suddenly exploded back home. Two days before the cruise was supposed to end, the CDC issued its no-sail order, effectively shutting down future cruises. But for the ships already out at sea, confusion and chaos. So now you're approaching Chile. Right. You are expecting to get off. Right. Yes. And what happened? The captain comes on and I said to Molly, well, this can't be good. He said, we have a problem. They're not letting us dock. Uh, we don't know what's going on. He literally said, we are going in circles. After four days of uncertainty, the ship starts heading for San Diego. But imagine dining rooms. Casino, shops, buffet. Everything pool. is open. 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 Come on down. Nobody is saying right. socially distant. No. The Cantros are assured constantly in PA announcements and in written letters from the captain that everything is okay. And that all guests on board remain healthy and happy. In fact, the couple says the only real sign of trouble came when the ship docked. An ambulance was waiting to take away a sick passenger. The Cantros flew home. They were ready to leave the whole thing behind until two days later. We got an email from a celebrity. Please be advised that a passenger has now tested positive that was on board the ship. Within a couple days, Fred realizes the minor cough he had was getting worse, along with a fever and fatigue. And when I spoke to the ER doc, she said to me, you were on a ship for how long? I said, 30 days. She says, yeah, there's no question in my mind you're going to be positive. 
Marlene also tested positive, and eventually so did their daughter and her fiance. Do you believe the cruise line did everything it could to keep you safe? No, they should have quarantined us in our rooms. That is what happened to the herrings on board the Diamond Princess, the cruise that became a petri dish for the virus and drew worldwide attention. We first met the Utah couple back in early February wow. while the ship yeah. was quarantined in Japan. I will kind of show you around. Measured it out just because I had nothing else to do. And it was uh, eight feet by 15 feet. And that includes the bathroom and everything. And mine has 36.7. Eventually, John started showing symptoms. His fever is now 103 again. Just have your prayers for him. John tested positive and had to be evacuated to a Japanese hospital. After 26 days on board, Melanie was evacuated back to the United States. She tested positive for the virus. It wasn't until the beginning of March that the pair finally got the good news. So, honey, we're going home. I love you. We just held on tight and uh, we couldn't let each other go for a while. They were lucky. The Diamond Princess had more than 700 confirmed cases and at least 14 people died. When we first came back, I got a, quite a few emails and phone calls that wanted me to participate in a class action lawsuit. We didn't think it applied to us on our cruise ship because uh, they were dealing with it the first time. I think that if we were on subsequent cruise ships and uh, they still continue to do the same thing over and over again, then of course uh, they're negligent. I'm willing to give Princess the benefit of the doubt as it relates to the Diamond Princess vessel only because it was the first, but for every ship that had a problem after that, it became more and more clear. Michael Winkleman is the Cantro's attorney. He says the cruise lines had enough information to make the decisions to protect passengers and instead did the opposite. No masks, no social distancing, no quarantine. But on top of that, they affirmatively took steps so that the Cantro's and all the passengers let their guard down. They would send letters essentially insinuating that there were no cases on the ship. So they took all these steps to make the, con the cancers less safe. Celebrity Cruises did not respond to ABC's request for comment on the Cantros' lawsuit. I think the whole world was simply caught unprepared. The industry says it was blindsided just like everyone else during the early days of the pandemic. I stand by that based on all the information that was coming at us and all the uncertainty that was affecting absolutely everyone, that we did the right thing by suspending our operations on March 13th. And I believe we're still the only segment of travel and tourism globally that shut down across the board. Now companies are being forced into reimagining the new post-COVID cruise experience. You can expect to see protocols that specifically address mask wearing, social distancing, and the other aspects of the pandemic that we're all hearing and reading about every day. There are no more loyal travelers than cruisers. Cruisers have their favorite line, their favorite ship, and those passengers are incredibly valuable to the cruise lines, and getting them back on board is very important. The Cantros and the Herrings agree. They would love to get back on board a cruise ship when it's safe. From my perspective, they can't reopen the cruise lines at all and make it work. Not, until, Not this... until there's a vaccine. Let's say there's a vaccine. Do you think you're ever getting on a cruise again? <laughs> I say yes. I think I would. I love to cruise. Traveling to us is, uh, is the spice of life and the fact that we've had the virus, but I've been through the worst of it and I'm still willing to go out and enjoy life and travel and, and, and see this beautiful world. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.